Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tammy, and today I'm going to be showing you how I turn this scribbly old sketch into a digital painting. Let's get started. So after finishing the drawing, I take a photo to make it kind of look like I actually drew the digital painting. I upload it into Photoshop and I just make a few edits to kind of make it accessible for Instagram. And kind of change any colours that I want to make a colour scheme. So instead of the green and orange, I want to go for blue and purple. Then I just make a new layer. Actually, I duplicate the original layer and set it to multiply so that I can add colours underneath the original artwork. Next, I add the flat colours, the skin, the jeans, the hair, <laughs> etc. I'm pretty sure my kind of colouring process isn't that great. I'm sure there's better ways you can do it instead of actually just kind of scribbling in all the different brush strokes <laughs> like I do. To be fair, one kind of thing that's kind of cool about digital painting is that you can actually go outside the lines and correct any mistakes that you make. <laughs> if you couldn't do that, oh man, I'd be in trouble. As you can see that I just kind of made a start in the eyes, but I'm going to go back through it later. shadows I try to use the soft brush so that I can create like a, a smooth gradient between the two colours, the light and the dark. Yeah, just to kind of give it more of a three-dimensional feel. One effective way of not going over the lines that you've already done or brush strokes that you've already made is to use selections. And also splitting up the colours into separate layers so that you don't get confused between what's on the skin layer or the jeans layer, for example. Here I'm just adding some highlights, again to add some three-dimensionality to the piece. Maybe I can talk about why I'm actually making this video. I was actually inspired by another YouTuber. I think her YouTube channel is called Drawing With Waffles. Well, I say I think, I'm pretty sure I know. <laughs> right, basically, I, she made a video kind of explaining this whole process. And then I decided to do it as well. Here you can see I'm going into the hair, which is actually the most difficult bit, both to draw and to paint, because curly hair. Just don't care. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, just so many ways, man. So many ways. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just going to the eyes. I kind of made them a bit more shiny. Just making some kind of touches to the lips. I kind of was, I wasn't really satisfied with what I'd started off with, so I kind of redrew them. Make sure the eyebrows aren't fleek. <laughs> And here we are at the most important part, adding the spot highlights or the humility. Just kind of makes the drawing pop here. Real nice, real nice. I 
just making some final stitches to kind of finish off the illustration. Be sure to stick around to the end to see the final product. And I guess I'll see you guys later. And there we have it, the final image. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you really want to. And also check out Waffle's channel, she's awesome. That's about it, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>